Hello guys, welcome to the DMS Online School. In today's video, I want us to look at um, a question from more concept, which are uh, one of my student or my online uh, candidate that is doing GCE sent to me. So there's a question here on the board which we are going to look at, and um, this question actually is coming from more concept. Okay. So I implore you to watch this video up to the end so that you are also going to be equipped with the knowledge that is required to answer a tricky question like this when you come across it in an exam. Okay, so the question says uh, how, okay, it says um, how many oxygen atoms are in 1.6 grams of um, sulfur? So when you look at this question here, it looks so simple. It looks as though it is simple, but it is quite tricky because uh, for instance, uh, let's, let's look at solution. Solution. For instance, one may say you need sulfur trioxide or in this sulfate radical, if the question says how many oxygen atoms are in 1.6 of that, when you look at this, one can conclude that there are there are four oxygen atoms. Well, that may seem to be correct at a Plus, okay, at the first look of it, you may think this answer is correct, but trust me, this answer is not correct because you are not being asked in this, but it is in 1.6 grams. So when you weigh this amount, they are asking how many actually atoms of oxygen will be there. So how do we answer such a tricky question? Okay. Such a trick question is answered using what we call more-to-more -more relationship, okay? Remember, according to Avogadro, uh, if you have one more of a substance, let's say one more of uh, oxygen atom, this is oxygen, one more of oxygen atom will have uh, about 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 atoms atoms of the same oxygen so if you are given one more of oxygen you will have 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 uh, atoms of actually oxygen now how are we going to then answer this question correctly so that we know how many atoms are in that First of all, we will need to know the number of um, moles of full sulfur in that. And then once we know the number of moles of sulfur in that uh, 1.6 grams, then we will be able to also know how many moles of oxygen are in that. Okay. So if we know the moles of oxygen are in that, then we will use this relationship here. Okay. So now, Let's do this. Um, we know that um, in this whole sulfur or sulfate radical or sulfur trioxide, uh, we have actually here we can say in 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 one more of sulfur actually we have um, in one more of sulfur. Okay, one molecule of sulfur, we can have actually, we have four atoms of oxygen. That's what we can say. In this one, we have one, four atoms of oxygen. That's what we can actually say. Okay, in this one whole of um, sulfur, there are those number of oxygen atoms. So if that is the case, we can say, let's know the number of atoms in, in this one more, 
one more of these, there are four atoms of oxygen. That's how we can actually take it if we want. Then we can say, okay, let's know the number of moles. Let's know the number of moles. Let's know the number of moles in this. So you know number of moles is given by mass over molar mass. So we will use this formula to know the number of moles of this sulfur in that. Then we use it to find the number of oxygen. So we we'll say this is equal to this M stands for mass. Okay, this is mass. Then this one is what we call molar mass. So molar mass is just the sum of the relative atomic masses in this sulfur. So this sulfur alone here is 32. As a relative atomic mass, this oxygen is 60. So we find the sum of the relative atomic mass in that which will be equal to molar mass. So in this sulfur, let me just say, okay, it is going to be like 32 plus 16. Then there are four atoms of oxygen times four. Okay, so that one is going to give us 96. I already did that. So this will be grams per mole. So here we'll write mass is that 1.6 grams over. The molar mass will be 96 grams per mole. So we are going now to divide. So let me just do the division here. So I'm going to have um, 1.6 uh, divided by 96. I'm getting 0 0.0166. So I'll just give it this way. So 0 0.0167 moles. Okay. So we get that one as in our answer. Okay, so we are now going to say, okay, um, here we have now 0 0.01672x, actually, if we want, okay, so I like doing it actually this way, then this one also this way, then we would want to know. We'll cross that one. So say one times x to the x to the x is equal to uh, 0 0.0167 times 4, which is going to give us, mm -hmm. let me just multiply this one times 4, times 4. Then the answer is 0 0.0666. So I'll just give it as 0. 0 0.067. Uh, so now this one becomes the number of moles of oxygen in this whole thing. So now we'll come here and then we'll say, okay, if you have one more of oxygen, you have this number of atoms of oxygen. How about if you have um, 0 0.067 moles? of oxygen, what are you going to have? You say x. Then you cross multiply, you say one more times x, you actually going to get uh, one more x, which is going to be equal to, so you say this times that is actually 0 0.067 moles of uh, oxygen, okay? Then times uh, 6.022 times 10 to the power 23, okay? Um, atoms. So of oxygen, if I want, I can put there atoms of oxygen. Now what we are interested in is the x, so divide by more on here. Equally here we divide by also one. Well, I like doing my things in detail so that cancels. So 
we have x is equal to so that one and that one cancels then we multiply this value times Avogadro say constant so it is already on my calculator here so I'll just say times six point zero two two times ten to the power twenty three equals so I'm getting something like four point zero something so like four point zero one times ten to the power something like twenty two twenty two in atoms of of steel. So you see this becomes the answer. So you can say therefore there are there are four point zero one times ten to the power twenty three atoms of oxygen in the 1.6 grams of sulfur trioxide or the sulfate radical so this is how this question was going to be answered correctly so that um, any confusion which comes with it is sorted out so i hope this has been helpful to you for now, bye and see you in the next lesson. Peace.